Hey, uh, I'm here to talk to you about Mary, Queen of Scots. Uh, well, uh, according to what I've been reading online, there are a lot of things that are not all right with this movie. At least people are very passionate about stating them. They are saying that it's not historically correct. They are saying that it's slow paced and, and uh, it has no rhythm. They are saying that the diversity of the cast is unacceptable for the, a timepiece of that time. They are saying that it's, uh, the script is misogynistic. <sighs> Got that one right. Uh, I'm consulting my notes that I made on my kitchen last night. Uh, they're very very organized as you can see uh, they are saying what else are they saying they are saying that the there they are the that the the authors are more concerned with pushing the filmmakers social agenda than making us care about who gains the english throne it's biased it's uh, soap opera it's a bunch of things okay so what do i think um if you look at it as a timepiece, you have to argue all these things. It was promoted that way, so that is a problem. It should be more accurate if it's an historical piece. I don't go to the movies to, to see that. I don't analyze movies that way. I analyze them as a piece of art. And looking at it that way, I have to say that it is a bit slow-paced and it is a bit... Um, it doesn't have a lot of rhythm, but it's an epic movie, so I can take it. What else can I say? I say that it is a bit soap opery. It is. Uh, it's it's got a lot of twists, little twists and little turns that are more um, are a little. Um, if it was more straightforward, maybe it would work better. I think. But at the same time, if you look at it as a movie about two women. We can argue that it's a movie that uh, explores the way that women uh, do power versus the way men do power. Uh, I, th I think it's still a valid discussion. So if you look at it that way, it's interesting to, uh, to, uh, to have this discussion. Uh, there, there are differences of gender. I still believe there are differences of gender. And the fact that these suppositions, and if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm saying, all these suppositions, suppos suppositions kind of support the story being told. So I don't know if that's how it went down. Nobody does. Nobody knows if they met, if they didn't. Nobody knows if the husband was what it's portrayed in the movie or if the the palace uh, intrigues were similar to that. Nobody knows. It doesn't matter how many documents you have on history. Nobody will ever know because they are dead. So if you see it as a piece of art, what I have to say is it's an interesting story. The, the, the characters are interesting characters. It's two powerful women that are interestingly portrayed those issues that are raised are plausible the interpretations of these two women are amazing amazing they are amazing okay if you if you just to see them be these two wonderful actresses go see them okay some argue that the irish accent shouldn't be there i didn't recognize it I'm not English speaking, so it's the same to me. Um, it was interesting to me, though, to see that the trailer uh, showed that uh, the, the Elizabeth and Mary. It, it seemed in the trailer that they had um, the same kind of uh, weight in the story. That's not so. Uh, it's Mary. It's about Mary. It's more than about uh, the, the Elizabeth character. And still, Margot Robbie does this wonderful interpretation. And it's so interesting to see that she's playing the ugly one. Because the woman is stunning. I mean, she's talented, she's stunning, she's got it all. And it's interesting to see that she took this role. And she gives it credit. So, um, kudos to her. She's one of the greatest actresses of her generation. She, she has a tendency to steal any movie with any actor 
uh, within it. So, so she's amazing. She's, she's worth watching every time. Um, I love the costumes. Let me say this. The costumes are unbelievable. They are amazing. It gives us this, this palace, this court thing, but also this adventurous Robin Hood kind of um, feel. Uh, they're so amazing. They are so amazing. They are not historically correct, they say, because they wouldn't wear so much black unless they were in mourning. Okay, um, art-wise, they're amazing. Okay, the sets are amazing. It is a bit slow-paced. Um, it is a bit soap opery. It is a bit, a tiny bit misogynistic tiny bit. Uh, it is uh, definitely there is a, a, an agenda, an activist agenda, a social agenda. There is. It's not shoved up our throats, but there is. It's clear there is. It, there are some ideas that they want to uh, portray, which I agree with, so it doesn't offend me. I, I didn't mind seeing that way, seeing, seeing them. I didn't mind that they supported the story, because they support the story. So it's justified. I think, as someone said online, that um, the artistic license with historical facts, um, I'm, I'm okay with it, uh, as long as it, they support, it, as that license supports the story, and I think it does. I was entertained, so I say that it's worth seeing. It's a good movie. A bit slow-paced, but it's an epic. A bit... Com compli not complicated, it's easy to follow, but there are a lot of changes in the history for a little intrigues and stuff, a little soap opera. But it's about women, I'm sorry to say. Maybe, maybe we do uh, have, still have uh, a tendency to be a little more whimsical. <laughs> I don't know, it's a discussion. So go watch it, make up your mind. I don't think it's that bad. I think the performances are amazing, I think the sets are amazing. So. I think it's worth checking out, worth checking out. So go to the movies, do that. Thank you.